Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Like the thumbnail says, vacation is over. It is time to get back to work and get on top of these projects. I've got a lot on the go, so I wanted to use this video to give you guys a bit of an update. Let's go. Okay, let's get started with the AT4. It's a little bit breezy out there, so I'll try and stay in here while I do most of my talking. But with the AT4, we do have a mod coming. It's a DIY mod. It's something I feel that anybody watching this video could do. That will be coming soon, probably within the next couple of weeks. Also, you can see I have some wrap film sitting up there. They are testers. I'm thinking about using for another chrome delete for the interior. If you remember a while back, I did a white metallic chrome delete on all of the trim inside the interior. After one day, I wasn't happy with it. I just felt it was not the right color choice, but we might be looking at one of these. Let me know in the comments below what you think, but I'm leaning towards this red carbon fiber. It's got a cap on it right now, so it's not showing as well as it would if I take the cap off, but I'm leaning towards that one. We got this uh, kind of print here. It's just like checkers. This one here is called Beast. Not really loving that one. And then this is kind of a, a plaid. But any of these I think would be good for interior. Let me know again in the comments below. Also, just on the subject of wraps, I'm wondering is it time to take off the camel wrap and do something different? Do I do something different color wise? Do I wrap the whole truck in one color? Let me know in the comments below and we will figure that one out together. Also, I'm curious on what your opinion is when it comes to. The next things that I should do. Now, I'm looking at new bumpers with a winch. I'm not sure about that yet. I'm looking at fender flares with larger wheels. Don't know for sure yet. I'm thinking of a lot of things. We're also going to do something creative when it comes to the tint. But I don't want to tell you too much until we actually get it done. But that's something we're going to do in the near future as well. So that's the AT4. Let's talk about the Chevy Cameo. I have a video I want to do about this truck. That's all I'll say, but it is a maintenance video and I think you may find it interesting. So that's going to be coming soon. Now, as for the BMW M4, we just returned on a one week trip to Las Vegas doing a car rally. It was our first rally ever. You definitely want to check out the video my wife and I are going to put together. It'll be kind of documentary style but I think it might be interesting, uh, especially for the viewers, if they've never gone on a rally before, what it can feel like or be like to go on a car rally. And of course, many different rallies and people to put them on and organizations that put them on, they're gonna be different, um, but it's definitely gonna be worth a watch. So you can kind of, you know, get a firsthand account of what that looks like. On that rally though, we encountered a problem all of the intercoolers and radiators on the front of my M4 got filled with grasshoppers. So I've cleaned out most of the carcasses that I could with a power washer, but I've got to pull the front bumper and get that cleaned out. I just rewrapped the mirrors with the Joker purple wrap. I had carbon fiber caps on there before, but the driver's side one just never fit quite properly. So I popped them off and I wrapped my original caps um, just for the fitment and I think it looks good. Also, and super annoying, we have to replace the windshield. Again, it cracked from a rock chip up here and then it spidered out. This window was only three days old before we went on that road trip and that happened. So good thing I have glass insurance. Now last but certainly not least, we have the 2022 Cadillac Escalade. It is wrapped in a carbon forged metallic. It was a controversial wrap by many of you based on the comments. Definitely unique. When the sun hits it at the right angles, I think it shows its best. The camera doesn't do it justice. What you're watching is not what I'm seeing. You have to take my word on that. But we now have the color that we originally wanted and I'm going to show it to you. So I put a sample over here. Let me know in the comments below what you think. But here it is. It is a matte metallic military green. I think it is going to be pretty awesome on this truck. So we're going to pick away at that and that'll be in an upcoming video. This is just a sample I just laid on here. 
And I'm curious what you think. If you think you like it better or worse than what's under it. I think it'll be better. Again, this doesn't show on camera. This is very unique and I thought it was a lot of fun. But I like to wrap vehicles as a hobby, so we're doing this next. Again, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. So there we go. Like I said, vacation is over and it's time to get back to work with all the modding. I probably showed you 10% of what's up here on the things that I have upcoming. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. Leave your comments below on everything that I talked about in here. And I'll talk to you next time.